It's an honor and a pleasure for Bruce and I to be here tonight. Um, I'm sitting at a table with Margaret Atwood and Yasmin Hassan, and I can already feel my IQ rising. <laughs> Thank you. When Kristen Whaley from Equality Now reached out to my son to say that she thought that they would be a good fit with The Handmaid's Tale, I quickly educated myself and enthusiastically agreed, as did Bruce and our partners at Hulu and MGM. Each time I speak with Yasmin, I'm reminded how important their work is and that Equality Now is making a difference for women and girls throughout the world. Yasmin, I salute your vision. Thank you. Bruce and I embrace Equality Now, their mission, and we're excited to continue our partnership. But let's talk about Margaret. Margaret's legacy spans more than 50 years and 60 works of fiction, nonfiction, and poetry, as well as chamber opera, comic books, and even a manuscript that is scheduled for publication in 2114. <laughs> Margaret, you are amazing. I've had the privilege of being on stage with Margaret at the Smithsonian in Washington, DC, and I have to say, I don't think Bono gets a more excited reception at any venue that he plays. She's a cultural and literary rock star, an international treasure. Bruce, tell us more. Hi. Um, I, had the, I first had the chance to work with Margaret when I was uh, writing the first few episodes of The Handmaid's Tale, and I had read the book in college, and I was a huge fan, and there was one particularly wonderful weekend where I first sent my first episode to Margaret for her feedback. And if you want to know what real fear feels like, <laughs> try sending your, cop, your version of The Handmaid's Tale to Margaret Atwood. It was, I didn't go to the bathroom the whole, it was a terrible weekend. So, but, but she sent her reaction back and she was positive and encouraging. Thank you, God. And that's been remained true throughout our last two years of working, last few years of working together. She has been absolutely welcoming, generous, and hilariously, honestly, much funnier than I would have expected from a Canadian national treasure. Um, <laughs> but when we got the green light to film the series, I was hoping to lure Margaret in to kind of do a cameo appearance, and I suggested the part of an ant in Gilead. I was hoping I wouldn't offend. They're not actually the nicest people. They're not known for their likability. But she accepted enthusiastically, and she arrived kind of when we put her into her stern brown ant's uniform. Um, now, she didn't have any dialogue, but I wanted something memorable for our Aunt Margaret to do. So in the scene, uh, she was supposed to smack Elizabeth Moss in the head. Uh, Elizabeth Moss was misbehaving, and we decided that would kind of get her in line. You can't let these handmaids get too sassy, of course. So on the first take, when the time came, Margaret gave Lizzie a little tap on the side of the head, like a little caress, which was very Canadian, but not very Gilead. And so after the take, Lizzie turned to Margaret and let her know, you know, I'm a professional actress and you don't have to be quite so delicate. She said, you can really hit me. So on the next take, the director called action and Margaret just whacked Lizzie on the side of the head so hard. And her bonnet went over and, you know, it was a real slap upside the head. Um, it, it was a pretty good shot, and that was the end, one we ended up using in the, in the pilot episode. Uh, so tonight, um, I'd like to add myself to the many voices that are honoring Mar Margaret, and I'm reminded uh, how lucky we are to have her to slap some sense into all of us when we need it. Uh, through her writing, through her voice, through her Twitter feed, and through her activism. But be prepared, because when Margaret knocks some sense into you, she hits very hard, and it's sometimes going to hurt. So the cast of The Handmaid's Tale is filming our third season up in Toronto right now. But they wanted to include their congratulations and good wishes for Margaret. So through the miracle of videotape and the hard work of Tori Larson, who's sitting here somewhere in a beautiful black dress, and her team, let me pass along their good wishes. And congratulations to Margaret. 